one of the biggest problems with the anime community is, well, their fan base. What is up, it is your boy Bugsy, and today I will be explaining how anime fans ruined anime. There will be a few of you that may agree with me, but I know that many of you will not. Sit down, relax, grab your snacks, put in your AirPods or headphones, and get ready to hear why anime fans have ruined anime. To break this down simply for non-anime fans, this is very similar to hip hop slash rap elitists. You have the old heads who refuse to acknowledge the new gen rap, which vice versa, new gen act like old rap game is horrific. It's almost like when you hear someone listening to Currency, Jay-Z, Tribe Called Quest, etc., you can assume what kind of hip hop fan they are. Then you typically would ask them, who are the top five best rappers alive? What are their best albums? Which new rapper is good, etc.? However, you provide them with an answer they may not be expecting, they give you shit for it. Or if you say that their favorite rapper is awful, then they go in about why your favorite rapper is not good. I started watching anime right when the pandemic started back in March 2020, and I started off with Dragon Ball Super. Before anyone starts with, OMG, you started with one of the worst animes to watch. Okay, man, we get it. You a damn anime enthusiast. See, this right here is the problem with anime fans. And yes, it is the new gen anime fans. For some reason, new gen anime fans feel as if they know what the best anime is for new fans. Anyways, back to the history of my journey through anime. Once I finished Dragon Ball Super and started looking for new animes to watch, I looked to my best friend Chimjaw, aka Brandon. He recommended Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, One Punch Man, Jojo's Bazaar, kind of an L, but also kind of a W. And after that, I started finding my own journey in the anime world. Eventually picked up many old gen anime such as Cowboy Bebop, the original Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Samurai Champloo, and even Hunter x Hunter. Many of these old gen animes have felt a lot better than what is coming out now. Now, before half you click off the video, hear me out. Yes, I'm sure my age definitely plays a role in my opinion, but after watching many of the new gen animes first, the old gen animes definitely did it a lot better. Whether it is the music, dialogue, animation, etc., it seems that the old gen animes hit home for me. Even when recommending animes to new people, I always recommend shorter, old gen animes. Also, for those who do not know, there is only one big three of anime, and it is Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece. That is it. No Dragon Ball Z is not in the big three because it grandfathered those three. All right, let me relax and go ahead and explain why anime fans have ruined anime. Anime fans, especially those who are loyal stands to certain anime, tend to create an unsafe space for non-stands. A few examples would be My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, Attack on Titan, Naruto, and even Jujutsu Kaisen. People who tend to make these animes their entire personality tend to become extremely cringe. You always hear the story of anime fans who got bullied in high school for liking anime. While I am sure that is true in certain situations, I think we need to look at the main cause of why that could have happened. Maybe, just maybe, you were Naruto running down the hall, wearing a Naruto headband, possibly doing a Kamehameha in four period lunch, or trying to do different jitsus on people. I don't know. Maybe you were just being a freak. Okay. That could have been a bit rude, but you get the point. You were probably doing way too much, and that is why you got bullied or excommunicado for it. Let's also not forget that you were wearing all black, didn't shower, had no drip, and were antisocial. Mind you, as a Star Wars fan, a very large Star Wars fan, I never got bullied for liking Star Wars because I wasn't a weirdo who made it my whole personality and wouldn't scare off the baby girls of lunch by explaining how Anakin Skywalker is the greatest tragic hero to ever exist. If I would have done it, I may have pulled even more women in my lifetime. There is a time and a place for everything, and it seems that many anime fans do not understand that concept. As of the last couple of years, there has been an influx of many women who are also fans of anime. Whether they are celebrities like Meg Thee Stallion, Ariana Grande, Megan Fox, etc. And of course, your favorite big booty Latina or white woman on Twitter who has an anime profile pic and talks about Naruto and Dragon Ball Z and Jujutsu Kaisen and also Demon Slayer. Many women are fans of anime, but many of the men in the space typically make them very uncomfortable and decide to play 300 questions and testing their knowledge to see if they are true fans 
Which leads to my next point. The elitism in anime and being a true fan is what has killed the enjoyment of the media. If you say, hey, I am a Dragon Ball fan, all of a sudden you are being asked about what were the greatest moments in Dragon Ball Z, what was the best fight, who was the best waifu. The correct answer is all of them. They can all step on my neck respectfully. I apologize to my intrusive thoughts. They got the best of me right there. Regardless, Casual fans get so bombarded with a million questions in such a short period of time, it tends to be overwhelming and annoying. Or, if your favorite anime is considered dog shit or not peak. Anime today is now described as mid or peak. There is no other term to describe it, which is an issue. Even comparisons between anime and manga have led to many discourses regarding the show. For example, many people say that Bleach was better as a manga than an anime. As someone who has not read the manga, I cannot confirm nor deny that. It seems that people want to push their own agenda onto other fans and almost get angry when it is not well received. New gen anime fans also try to create a modern big three, which is simply not possible. The big three would never, and I mean never, get replicated. Are there new gen animes that are considered really good or peak? Yes, there are. But no anime today will ever have the same impact as the big three and Dragon Ball. Do not get me wrong, there are many animes that have come out within the last decade that have been absolutely phenomenal. Horiyima, Blue Lock, Dr. Stone, Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, and I'm sure there's many others that I'm missing out. Spy Family, Bochi the Rock, you name it, it's probably a solid anime. However, none of those animes have done anything that the big three and Dragon Ball have not done. So therefore, it is impossible to create another big three when all of those animes have done something very, very similar or got inspiration from Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, and even Dragon Ball. Hell, even shows like Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Champloo, and even Yu Yu Hakusho, an anime that I did not mention earlier that I've watched when I started the journey, I said, that's not sure. I started watching it last year. It is an anime that possibly inspired Jujutsu Kaisen. Every anime has an inspiration, and those inspirations came from the big three plus Dragon Ball and some of the early 2000 animes. My final reason as to why anime fans are terrible is how they treat the anime studios, directors, and animators. I can understand memeing and joking about certain animations, for example, the early stages of Dragon Ball Super. But to send death threats and completely demoralize overworked and underpaid employees is unacceptable. Many anime fans do not know the politics and the games being played in the anime industry. If these studios had more resources, fun, etc., they would wipe the Western medias by a landslide. But like Dragon Ball fans, most anime fans cannot read. One thing I do like about modern day anime fans is that they are not afraid to show their joy for it. Whether it is having their social media profile in an anime theme, tattoos, clothing, cosplays, posting it on their stories on Instagram, or even talking and discussing new animes and mangas, and even discussing manga leaks. It is wonderful seeing people express themselves without being weird or cringe. I hope this video gives pretty solid reasons as to why anime fans have ruined anime. It is a bit clickbaity, However, I think there are many people who will agree with my sentiment. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to help the channel, click that join button, big fella, or join the Patreon linked in the description down below. It has been Bugsy. Remember, don't get mad. Think of the booty. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.